tomorrow's special session of the legislature in Springfield is expected to begin and end without a deal to reform Illinois' pension system. Instead, top lawmakers now say they'll form a special committee to look for a compromise to get the state out from under a nearly $100 billion pension fund debt. The numbers are overwhelming and tough to understand, so ABC7's Ben Bradley is here to try to put them into context. Ben. Ron, let's set aside for a moment the biggest of the numbers and focus on what the Quinn administration says not fixing the pension crisis costs Illinois every single day. That number, $17 million each day, every day, until the politicians agree on a way to fix this mess. Governor Pat Quinn is the commencement speaker tonight for the biggest class of graduates in the state of Illinois. 893 Lane Tech High School students received their diplomas tonight. The $17 million the state burns on pensions every day could pay the first year's tuition, books, and supplies at the University of Illinois for each and every graduate in this room. What do you think, that they're wasting that much money every single day? That's crazy. They should really think about what they're using it for and give it to people like me. Aside from a free ride at U of I for these grads, that $17 million a day could pay for Chicago Public Schools to hire 204 new teachers, the Chicago Police Department, 136 new officers, and the DuPage County Forest Preserve District says it could use the money to buy 100 acres of land. Is that money that's just literally getting burned every day. It's lost opportunity. Governor Pat Quinn has, to a degree, been held hostage by leaders of the legislature who have turned pension reform into a political hot potato. Tomorrow's special session will cost taxpayers another $40,000. What will we have to show for it? A deal to keep talking about a possible deal. John Cullerton and I have talked about this, and we're prepared to accede to the governor's request in the expectation that the governor will continue to be an active participant in the uh, lawmaking. The leaders of the legislature understand that running in place is not an option. They must act and put a bill on my desk that I can sign into law to end the loss of $17 million a day. Illinois' dysfunctional government also costs us every time the state borrows money. Next week, another round of borrowing is scheduled. The Illinois Policy Institute has done the math and determined for every billion dollars the state has to borrow, it costs an extra $14.5 million just because our credit rating has gone down so extra. much. Extra. Extra. Right, thanks, Ben.